Hey guys, what's up? It's Greg with Buy the Bootstraps, um, btbootstraps.com. You want to check out the store? Uh, got a fun topic of conversation that I find interesting, and um, it's about steroids and fitness, uh, things like that. You know, this channel is not set in stone. All right, we discuss we discuss pretty much whatever comes to mind, um, whatever I find it interesting at that particular moment. Um, and the one thing that I've been uh, paying attention to and looking at uh, recently has been all these YouTube videos online. You know, work out here, cut here, eat this, eat that. I mean, and I think we all want to look our best. We all want to have some kind of achievement with our uh, abilities. I know that for me, when I uh, joined the military, uh, it was to be at a level of physical preparedness um, that I'd like to, you know, sustain in some, in some capacity. But when watching these things, I've been I've been watching these videos on YouTube and all these like supposed fitness gurus who have a camera and they run out and they record videos of them in the gym or their meal preps or whatever, you know, and these guys are just seriously jacked, like unnaturally jacked. You know, and it's been shown recently that a lot of these same guys have been coming out and admitting to steroid usage, you know, which makes sense because how in the world did these people get this incredibly jacked, this shredded, this big, you know, watching what, you know, seeing like what they're eating supposedly and what they're putting out there and then knowing that that doesn't add up. The calories don't add up to the results. The workouts don't add up to what they're doing. You know, yeah, some people are genetically gifted, some people are not. You know, but then, like I said, a lot of these, you know, gurus have been coming out and admitting to steroid usage, which it got me thinking, you know, that is incredibly dangerous and kind of, kind of absolutely, you know, rude of these people uh, to be showing this, you know, because they present themselves as these, you know, athletes or these, you know, gurus or these fitness instructors or whatever, and then come to find out that they're nowhere even close to that because they used an performance enhancement to get to that level that they're at. But then they also claim, and I've heard this multiple times, like, oh yeah, you don't need to take steroids or this or that because, you know, if you just, you know, do the exact same things that you're doing, you'll reach that level. It just might take you longer. That is full of shit. There is no way that if I had a clone of myself, okay, and he and I were exactly the same, we worked out the same, we ate the same, we slept the same, we took the same supplements, we did everything the same. But the difference is that he took performance enhancement steroids or SARMs or anything else, and I didn't. There is no way that I naturally will ever be him. It's impossible. He has the enhancements between the substance that will give him the boost that he would need to get to that point. And if he's taking it at the same level as what I'm doing and everything else is equal, I will never reach that plateau that he will. I, it's just, it's impossible. You know, you're changing the molecular structure of your body. You're adding, you know, testosterone. You're adding substance and chemicals that are designed to have a specific effect on you. All right. And for me, you know, watching these videos and stuff like that, it kind of makes me upset because these people aren't being real with you guys. They're not being real with their audiences. They're selling themselves as one thing and come to find out they're completely lying. You know, and where I say it's dangerous is that you get these young people who come in, who see these videos and they go, I want to be like that. I want to be that guy. I want to look like that. And so it kind of sets this like self reflected image that is untainable. You know, so all these kids are going out there and trying to be these, spending gobs of money at GNC and things like that. And I say this from experience because I used to work at GNC. I worked there part time for about a year. You know, I can't tell you how many high schoolers and right out of high school, like 18, 19 year olds who were coming in and buying all these supplements because, you know, you look at the packages and you look at the, you know, the protein powders and you look at the, you know, the BCAAs and you look at the creatine and stuff like that. And they have all these jacked dudes on there. They're just so shredded. Well, yeah, most of those guys are on some kind of performance enhancer to get to that point. But they sell this product as, oh, hey, you can do this too. You could be this guy. And the fact is you can't. Not unless you're willing to do what they're willing to do, which is essentially cheat and lie. You know, can you get to a point of having, say, like a 5% body fat? Yeah, absolutely. You absolutely can. You know, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of, you know, you have to sacrifice. I mean, obviously, I'm not willing to do that, but these guys are, right? And so it can be attained, but you won't have the same size, you won't have the same strength, you won't have the same capabilities. Not unless you're willing to take steroids or SARMs or something like that. 
I just wanted to make this out, you know, make this, put this out there and see what your guys' thoughts on this are. I mean, maybe you care about it, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm on, a, on an island here and thinking something else completely different. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Check out the store, like I said, btbootstraps.com. I'll talk to you guys later.